we have to understand it from natural classification only because animals we see like this even in cartoons the natural classification of animal is available if you just google you can get it is classified into two vertebrates and invertebrates if you take lower animals the invertebrates again there are two classes with joint legs and without legs without legs are like worm and non worm like like earthworm leech these are worm like and non worm like they are fluke worm or tape worm then animals with joint legs are again divided into two three pairs of legs and more than three pairs of legs three pairs of legs like ant cockroach ladybug and more than three pairs are scorpion spider some spiders huh? and millipede now come to the vertebrates they are divided into warm blooded and cold blooded the cold blooded are three fish reptiles and amphibians and in warm blooded there are mammals and birds so this is natural classification if we have to identify any animal how will we classify like this kingdom animalia in phylum there are vertebrates annelids mollusks nematodes and arthropods class from vertebrates there are five classes fish amphibian reptile bird and mammal among arthropods crustacean arachnids insects suppose we have to identify the human being we identify like this domain eukarya kingdom animalia phylum chordata class mammalia order primate family hominidae genus homo and species sapien when this much classification we understand then we can understand the human being this is just an example in homeopathy there are remedies prepared from different animals and whatever remedies we have those classes we will see today the first class is of mollusks you can find there are different molas you might have learned this in zoology also like cuttlefish the remedy prepared yeah oyster the remedy prepared is calcarea carp and there are many other remedies these molas are further divided into three sub classes the first class is bivalvia these are found in marine water as well as in fresh water they are called bivalvias because they have shell with two valves when the proving was done the symptoms came up at delusion level or at sensation level are the fear of shell breaking the actually talk in these words feel like crushed or hammered you know this is the process that when we have to see whatever is inside we have to actually hammer that shell then only we can see whatever is inside there is issue of open and shut because there are two walls their natural mechanism is they have to open the wall to take water inside or nutrition inside and then they shut in order to get secured another issue is being grounded the examples of remedy prepared from bivalvia group is venus mercenaria it is prepared from clam conchiolinum is another remedy prepared 
it is also called as mother of pearl it is prepared from the inner layer of oyster shell next is gastropod these gastropods like snails and slugs this is the most diverse group of mollusks here the feeling is driving uh, sorry withdrawing into shell whenever they feel threat from outside they withdraw so the sensation is to pull in or being pulled in it is active and passive pull in or being pulled in and as they are very slow in motion they feel the target is out of reach and when they feel they cannot reach to the target either they withdraw or withhold they are partly mobile by while we are not mobile gastropoda are partly mobile the examples of the remedies prepared from this group are murex helix tosta and cyprasia eglantin the third group is cephalopods these are highly motile now they don't have shell so the sensation they have is there is lack of protection so in order to protect they have to hide or conceal you might have seen cuttlefish at least that cuttlefish hides itself under the ground the another mechanism is run and escape at the last resort of escape from the predator cuttlefish throws ink in the water so that everything get clouded and then it can escape they are extremely mobile the remedies are sepia and octopus you know very well about sepia that sepia has symptom occupation amulet because they are continuously doing something after bivalve after molas the second column uh, sorry second class is of insects the insects have small body size they have short life span they are busy and industrious you might have seen that uh, ants they are always busy now i must uh, differentiate over here that spiders are different from the insects insects are different so there are some things or some symptoms are common but there are many differences so this class is completely different but one common between insects and spider is they are busy and industrious in tarantula you will find the symptom fruitlessly busy it comes over here a restless and hyperactive now why these things are there among insects because these are the lower animals they are not much developed and their target is only food and reproduction and death their life span is short so they have to search for food and in very short life span they have to do a lot many more things so they are always working they are industrious here you will find remedies prepared from insects i will uh, tell you like apis apis is honey bee honey bee is continuously doing their work and having a sound of just like any person 
uh, is singing. So in, in insect bite, what kind of pain we will get? It's a stinging pain. There will be burning, biting, stitching, and shifting. The sensations these patients feel is territory is defined and it is intruded. When we learn common issues of animal kingdom, we know that there is a kind of territory consciousness. Territory means a defined area, some part where they feel that that area is belong to them and they are owner of the, that area and no one else should enter in that area without their will or without their permission. So they feel territory is defined and it is intruded. Their reaction is shameless and destructive. This shamelessness you will find in Epis, they are abusive, using absurd language, and destructive. There is sudden attack and desire to escape. So there is constant activity. This person feels there is, they are being attacked. Attack is so sudden and they have to survive by escaping. And if they do not escape, the result will be suffocation and death. So there is always fear of suffocation and death. Another feeling they have is lot has to be achieved in a short time. And this you will find in tubercular myelin. So almost all insects, with some exceptions, they are belong to tubercular myelin. They have to do so many things in a short time. So remedies belong to this class are Apis mellifica, which is prepared from honeybee, Blata prepared from cockroach, Cmex from bug, Caucus cacti. I must tell you over here, Shankaran sir had presented a very nice case of Caucus cacti. Because if you learn plant kingdom, you will come across the remed, uh, family cactaceae and cactaceae, cactaceae is cactus family where there is a sensation of being shrunk and compressed. And this insect actually lives on the plant of cactus and that's why the name is caucus cacta and that patient had given clear cut sensation of cactaceae family as well as the symptoms of animal and insect class. And really we were confused initially whether it is a plant kingdom or animal kingdom. And then sir explained very nicely that how it was connected. Because sometimes we, when fix the idea of kingdom, we do not think of another kingdom. But these are the certain exceptions. We have to think over it. We have to remember it. Another is coccinella. It is ladybug, coccinella septum punctata. Formica rufa means ant. These are the different remedies and they are belong to this insect class. The third group is of spider. The well-known remedy from spider group is tarantula, but there are many other spiders. The common thing with spider is, means this is the natural history. Intense pace and speed. They are highly mobile, highly mobile. There is a quick and constant movement, but that movement is rhythmic. You will find in tarantula, there is 
strong desire for constant dancing. So dancing is not any moment. It is rhythmic moment. They are mischievous and teasing. Teasing. Dance, desire for dance, desire for music and desire for bright colors. They are pretending. They are pretending means they uh, have uh, this web and they wait for their prey to fall in that web so that they can eat it. And for that, their another behavior is attention seeking. There are many bright colors so that they attract attention of the prey so that they can get it. Again, the same thing with spider and insect is the lifespan is short and they have to achieve so many things. Again, many spiders are belong to tubercular myosin. Now here you will see a very busy spider, how it is attractive with different colors at the center of the web. The sensation words used by patient who needs spider remedy are trapped, caught, there are sudden urges, sudden death. There is fear that suddenly death will occur. There is impulsive aggression. It is not only aggression. Aggression comes with impulses. Deceitful and cunning. Even this rubric deceitful, you will find the remedy drosera. This is another uh, exception, I will say because Drosera is belong to carnivorous plant, animal eating plant. So anytime when you collect a Drosera plant, it will already contain some insect. So this insect feeling of deceit will be there. Cunning, so they are making web and trying to catch the prey. It's a cunning way to achieve their target. The examples of spider remedies are Tarantula well-known, then Mygale, Latrodectus mactans, then Erania type of spider, Ixobola, Erania iscoleba, uh, exobola, Erania diadema, Peridion. Peridion is well known for strong reaction to sound. That is starting from sudden sound. That is the rubric for Peridion. So these are the some examples from spider group. The next class is of reptile. Actually, reptile is classified or subdivided into two classes. Spiders, uh, sorry, snakes are separated from remaining all other reptiles because other reptiles have different kind of classification or different kind of symptoms and snakes have a different group and many snakes are studied in detail in homeopathy. We will see the natural behavior. All the reptiles, what is common with them? Many of them are concealed and never seen. They are poisonous. They are creeping and burrowing. These are cold-blooded vertebrates. Their skin is dry, rough, and without glands. This is very striking or strange. There are no glands in the skin area of these animals. They bear epidermal scales. And for that, there is a misconception that their 
touch will be something different, ugly and yucky. Actually, it is not. The snakes and lizards shed their scales as skin cast. Only lizards and snakes have this ability that they shed out their skin. They do not respire by means of gills. Now they are advanced. Now you know that fish, they respire through gills. But now these are more developed than fish. So uh, like uh, frog, there are some uh, animals which are amphibian, but mostly the animals are living on the earth. So frog and crocodile will be there, which are uh, uh, either living in water or amphibian. So they do not respire by means of gills. They live on the ground or in water. Both the things are there. There are many snakes, even they are living in water. Crocodile in water or even in on the earth, frog, amphibian, and all other animals, even tortoise also, amphibian, and other animals who live on the ground too. The sensation found in this class of animal is sudden, unpredictable attack. The attack is sudden and unpredictable. You never know. That's why they are burrowing. They are not seen. It is the thing that it comes out of blue. When patient will talk, he will use such terms. It comes out of blue. It is completely unexpected. Concealed and never seen. See, these animals are usually not seen. Because among many snakes you will find they have camouflage. They can adjust with the condition. Their skin color will adjust it with the surrounding. So that they are not usually seen, easily marked. Being pursued. Because they feel pursued, so they have desire to hide. You know, snakes do not directly attack. Because they have to judge whether they can survive or not. Survival is the big issue or the main issue for all the animal cases. So in the natural history of snake, they will not attack. Even I tell you there are certain subclasses or subfamilies of even snakes like Crotalini and Viperidae, sorry, Elapidae and Viperidae family. Elapidae has again another type is Crotalini family. The Elapid snakes, they first warn. The example is cobra. What cobra does when he feels that there is some enemy, he makes hissing sound. It makes hissing sound so that it wants their predator or whatever enemy they perceive that if you make something wrong with me, I will attack on you. Or they raise their hood. That is the way they give warning signals because they don't want to attack directly. Another quality among snakes is show and appearance. So there are many colors, desire for colors and attractiveness. There is split in mind, antagonism with self. Actually, this is common with almost all animal kingdom remedies. It's a vertical split. So there are two wheels. But among snakes, you will find this in a different way. It is said no, the, uh, that uh, snakes have 
bifurcated tongue. So that will be seen over here. There is split. There are two wheels. One wheel, it can be a human language and another will be non-human language. And there is tussle between these two. They want to be cunning to survive. So as they have to survive, they have to be cunning. There is a theme of superior and inferior. Someone is superior to me or I am inferior to someone. There is one upmanship. Such are the sensations given by the patient. Fear of being choked, suffocated, strangulated. This is one more common thing with the spiders. There is suffocation. You will find suffocation in spiders. You will find suffocation in insects. And you will find suffocation in snakes too. But what is the way of suffocation among snakes or these reptiles? That when snakes are caught at their neck, they feel suffocated. Neck is the very sensitive area. And I hope you know the famous story of Dr. Herring, that when he was proving lachesis, he was not able to attend a function, a conference, because there was a rule that when you will attend a conference, you should have a coat and a necktie. And because he was proving lachesis as a remedy, he was not able to use necktie. He felt he felt suffocated that time. So this suffocation around neck, when there is anything bind around neck, even in lacation, you will find doesn't like tight clothing. That tightness gives feeling of strangulation. Another characteristic is ambush attack. Attack, it's sudden where you don't know that attack will be there. So it is unpredictable. You will find this symptom most common among viper snakes. They will attack and they will run away. And you can compare this with the terrorist attack. Just like you never know where the bomb is implanted. And when it gets blast, you come to know, oh, this has happened in this, this area. It is ambush attack. So the remedies from snake class are Naja, Lachesis, Vipera, Elaps, Elaps Coralinus, and Boa Constrictor. So snakes are divided into two classes, mainly poisonous snakes and non-poisonous snakes. Poisonous snakes, they bite, and that is their way of survival by spreading venom and the non-poisonous uh, snakes, they are called constrictor snake. They constrict their prey and then they eat. The next class is a class of warm-blooded vertebrate animals. So now we have completed invertebrates. Now vertebrates, how the animal evolution has taken place. Accordingly, we can learn the different classes of animals and their natural behavior. Then we can understand in better way how the remedy will be working. This is one of the way of understanding the remedy features. Definitely there is no option for proving the remedy on the provers of different age group and then get the symptom and accordingly you can prescribe remedy for the patient. But when you don't have that remedy already proved and still you have to get the remedy, then the way is to understand the natural history of that particular animal, natural behavior of that animal. And these features will help us 
to add information to the proving symptoms. This is collateral way. It is not at all replacing the drug proving, but adding more information to the remedy other than the symptoms proved by the prover. So it will give us more confidence and double guarantee that our remedy is correct. So among warm-blooded, so these are the developed classes, birds and mammals. So birds or warm-blooded vertebrates belong to the class A. You can see here there are variety of birds. Many of them are proved as remedies. These birds are characterized by feeders. They don't have teeth, but they have beak. Beak is their jaw, beak are their teeth. So whatever they have to eat, you have to use their beak, even for eating or for drinking. Another characteristic is laying of hard shelled eggs. These eggs are hard shelled. They have high metabolic rate. Almost among all the animals, their metabolic rate is high. So you will find these animals are lightweight. Some of them can fly. Not all birds can fly, but many of them are flying. Yeah. Another feature for bird is they have four chambered heart. The evolution has taken place up to this stage because you will find in frog and other animals, they have three chambered heart. Here, there is four chambered heart. It is just like mammals or human beings. We are more developed. So strong yet lightweight skeleton. Their skeleton is strong, but it is lightweight. Birds live worldwide and range the size from 5.5 centimeters, that is the size of hummingbird, to the 2.8 meter is ostrich. So they are very small and they are very big too. They are about 10, 000, there are about 10,000 living species of birds and we know only few of them. The sensation words used by bird remedy who require bird remedy are responsibility and freedom. Freedom is the basic issue for them because bird are free to live in the space, free to fly, fly in the space. And the opposite thing that happens with bird is that we cage them and we take away their freedom. So that issue comes here. In the proving, we have found the issue of freedom. In another word, it is escape, free, take off. And the opposite side is cage, bonded, or change. Again, sudden, unexpected, and out of blue. These are the words or these are the sensations are there among bird remedies as well as you will find in spiders and even in snakes. We have to differentiate it very well with the other issues of the case. We don't have to jump with these words which are very common, otherwise we will get confused. The desire to go at high places. This is very strange thing, but it is common. One, once we understand that this is a bird remedy, then we can understand why they have this desire. The sensation is of floating, light, soaring, and being wetless. The remedy is prepared from falcon is falcon peregrine. Eagle, from eagle, there is a remedy prepared from American bald eagle, which you see here in the picture. 
Heliatus leucocephalus. Hera macau is the remedy prepared from macau. From swan, the remedy prepared is cygnus cygnus. From lovebird also there is remedy. It is called agornopis cana. Then the last class of the animal kingdom is mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded, vertebrate, having hair to cover body. This is one of the characteristic. Reptiles, they have scales on their skin. And many mammals, not all but many, have hair to cover their body. Female mammals produce milk to nourish their young. So this group is completely different from remaining all classes. That they, they lay eggs. Only mammals nourish their young and they give, they produce milk. And that's why there is a completely different group or class of remedies. We call them as lack remedies. Almost all mammals give birth to live young, except few. Most mammals use four limbs for locomotion. Now they are actually using four limbs. Birds use two limbs. See, the development, evolution. There are 6,400 species of mammals are known. The largest groups are rodents and bats. And then the primates and carnivora and other classes. Primates where we human beings come under this class and the carnivorous animal like lion and tiger. One more characteristic of this group is they live in group. There is a herd mentality. They want to be belong to a group. And when there is a group, that means many animals come together or many people come together. There is a fight for supremacy. Someone has to be the leader. So they fight in the group for leadership. Who will be the leader? And who will be the winner of that fight will become the leader. Survival of the fittest. One more thing with mammals is they learn by imitation. You see a small child, it learns from imitation. It is applicable for all mammals. Strong maternal affection. As they are fed by mother, there is strong maternal affection. Mother provides them milk, that means food and security, the warmth, the love. So strong affection of family and siblings. That sense develops among mammals. That sense is not there among other animals of having family or having siblings. And one more characteristic they have is they modify their behavior as per the surrounding. So expression in patient that they want to be belong to a group and paying cost for it. So these are two sides. They want to be in the group, but they have to lose something. They have to pay something for being in the group because they feel they are safe with the group, safety within the group. And for that safety, they have to pay the cost. Stability of group is their security. If there is no group, they are insecure. So they want to make group and they have to get their stability. So the issue is dominance or submission. So among the group, there is one leader and that leader dominates and all the other members, they are submissive to the leader. So either you have to be the leader of the group or you have to submit yourself to the leader. Here, one more issue is selflessness versus selfishness. This is commonly seen in the lac humanum. This is the 
कॉमन ह्यूमन फीचर ना बेनेवोलेंस टू गिव समथिंग टू अदर्स थिंक ऑफ अदर्स ह्यूमैनिटी एंड इफ यू ग्रैप समथिंग ओनली फॉर यूर सेल्फ इट इज कॉल्ड सेल्फिशनेस सो यू हैव टू थिंक आईदर यू और द ग्रुप सो मैमल्स आर द एनिमल्स हू लिव विथ द ग्रुप and when they live with the group or the family they have to think of the group they can't think of only themselves so as a split there is a issue with them whether they should think of self or they should think of the others each one guards its own territory every leader of the group they have their territory and they guard their territory there is a fight for position among the group they are feeling its territory is defined and it is encroach this is a predator feeling and the prey feeling is if the animal is prey animal then the feeling is when there is a threat should they fight or should they fly away to escape if they feel that they can win the fight they will fight and if they feel they are submissive they will escape so mostly the remedies belong to um, psychotic miasm not all but many here you will find the remedies are prepared from bat felt auri is a remedy prepared from bull ambragrisia well rattus rattus is a remedy prepared from rabbit moscus is prepared from deer and all others are the lack remedies that you know very well so this is a mammal class when we have to select the remedy for our patient very important thing as animal told there are two things of the business the first thing is proper case taking in case taking we have to take the patient to such a level we can say the sensation level where we get clear idea about what that person is suffering and when we will get that idea then only we can think of finding the remedy that sensation level we are very clear with first the kingdom it is animal or plant or mineral and then go to the sub class if it is a mineral then which row or which column if it is animal kingdom then which sub class whether it is mammal or spider or bird or mollusk and then there is a family among if you take example of snake there are different families if you take mollusk there are bivalvia or gastropoda or cephalopods like that and then you can come to the remedy this is the way in which we approach to the case and we end up with the right remedy this is narrowing down and i feel this is one of the way to reach to the right remedy going with the repetition is not at all replaced by this way this is one more collateral way so that we can be very sure about our remedies and now i hope that if you have any question you can ask now i am stopping my share uh, sharing screen and group is open for discussion anybody can raise their hand so that uh, coordinator will unmute you or you can unmute yourself and ask the question but please don't forget to mute again hello any are you getting my voice na 
If you have any question, you can ask, please feel free to ask. Yes, sir, you are totally audible. Participants, if you are having any questions regarding both the topics that sir have shared, columns, rows, and this particular introduction to animal kingdom, you can please unmute yourself, ask your questions so that sir can help us with the solution. Or you can type in the chat box. Okay, if you have any question, you can type in chat box. Let me answer one of the question which was asked last time, because here you will find that uh, our teacher, Dr. Shekhar Alungi sir, his name you all know, but someone asked that, what is Swara Gurukul? Let me tell you about it in few minutes. And before that, I want to show you one video. Now, again, I'm sharing my screen. Thank you. 
This was from the uh, 2019 workshop. There was one more workshop in last March. Because of these COVID situations, uh, workshops are not conducted regularly, but the next uh, workshop will be conducted in the last week of December. And I hope we will able to attend it if the situations are under control. Now I want to show you what actually happens in the Gurukul. On the day one, it's a seven day workshop. In, on day one, there is inauguration ceremony. You can see here in the Seren vicinity of Konkan, his workshop is conducted uh, in the Ratnagiri district near Sangmeshwar railway station. You can Google it and you will find it. 
it's a very nice place so early morning it starts from 5 o'clock and till 9 pm there are different activities going on it is just like shanti niketan you are completely in the nature with your guru and you are learning homeopathy scene is like this that you are learning under the tree with different concepts and every point sir gives you freedom to ask question to clarify your concept it is not like 45 minutes lecture one hour lecture and then if you have any question you can ask you can ask question at any point Basically, there are four workshops conducted in one year. The first workshop is basic workshop, where the basic concepts of homeopathy and the sensation method are made clear, like levels of experience, theory of miasms, 10, ten miasms, and other ideas of case taking. But basically, focus is there on case taking. And the unique feature of these workshops is there is a guided case taking where in one completely soundproof room, there is one patient and one participant uh, physician will take the case and it is listened by other participants outside in the classroom and where the mistakes are made in case taking, sir actually guides at that point. And this is very unique thing that just like with the small child, we ask them to write the first writing A, B, C, D, we take their hand and we take them to write in the right way. It is the same thing is done in case of case taking, which is very difficult task. So many people feel, but with the guided case taking, you get actual confidence how to take the case how to ask the question which question should be asked at which point so that we can get the right information otherwise case taking may last for one hour two hour three hours and finally we end up with no remedy complete confusion it will not happen with this guided case taking sessions Early morning, there are yoga and exercise sessions every day. Then the workshop starts learning, asking questions and relearning. Morning class, questions, answers every time and clearing your concepts. In the classroom, there are classes, PowerPoint presentations, and sir makes clear every concept so that it is like so easy thing under the sun to practice homeopathy. In the evening, the case is given to you, audio, video, even text also. And afterwards, there are different groups of the participant. They, dis they first discuss their remedy among the group and different groups have debate for which is the right remedy. And sir guides us exactly how to reach the remedy. So this is not a theoretical workshop that because there are so many theories we have already learned undergraduate college, but actually practical of finding the remedy, how to think, how to understand the patient's words, how to find the sensation, how to find the rubrics, Everything is made clear in the debate. Of course, the winner of the debate will get prizes on the grand finale last day. There are other activities like painting of different drug pictures, drug images, and winner also get prizes over here. At one night, there is campfire. In campfire, there is debate on the case. 
like this, there are different events take place. So four workshop, first is basic workshops and three workshops on each kingdom. It is not necessary that you should start from basic workshop. You can start from any workshop and there is no problem with it. So there was one question asked that how to differentiate uh, carnivorous plant from animal kingdom. Very nice question. Uh, here I feel that you are thinking something. When your thinking starts, your brain starts working. So carnivorous plants will give you idea of that particular plant plus usually the insect class. So idea of that plant will give you clear idea of that these are the carnivorous plants. Carnivorous plants has different class. When you will learn the uh, animal, uh, sorry, plant kingdom workshop, you will get these concepts clear because it is uh, very difficult to explain in this two hours lecture, everything about one kingdom. It is just like, you know, uh, when we are looking at the map, we see different countries in the world's map. In one country, there are different states. In different states, there are different districts. In different districts, there are different talukas. And in different talukas, there are different um, cities, towns, and villages. In one village, again, there is different areas. Like that, this is one kingdom. In another, in one kingdom, there are different classes. There are subclasses. There are families in case of plant. And then there are remedies. So it will take much time to understand one remedy in particular. But in animals, you will find there is issue of survival. In carnivorous plant, there is issue of survival along with plant sensation. And that will differentiate carnivorous plants from the animal kingdom. There is one more question. Kindly explain how an element can show both symptoms of row and column. For example, in sulfur. Very nice. <clears throat> See, sulfur is in the third row and in the 15th column. Now, what is the issue of third row? Third row has to do with identity. With love, care, affection. And what is my image? What is identity? Identity is the image. So what's your identity in the society? When you ask this question, what answer comes to you? The answer is your image, how you are. You are a doctor, for example. That's your image. You are a good homeopath. That is your better image. So that is the issue of identity. And if you see the column, the 15th column. In 15th column, the issue is everything has, uh, sorry, 16th column. The issue has gone. Everything which was there, the structure which has gone. For example, identity has gone. That will be the failure state of sulfur. You see, this is a polarity where we can see two sides of the remedy. At one side, you will find the person who is at success stage where the person is trying to preserve the condition. You can say it is a compensation. So compensated sulfur you will find is very good person. He may be egoistic, but wearing good clothes, very neat and clean. He has egotism. What kind of egotism? That people should appreciate him. That means he should have better identity than others. So this issue of the row has come. Identity. I should have better identity. I know better than you. That is the ego of sulfur. Sulfur is not having ego like platinum. 
Platina has ego of higher position. I am the best. So sulfur is something superficial that they just want their name to be famous. So that is ego and pride. And when this name has gone, the opposite side of sulfur we see that he becomes a rag philosopher. What is philosophy? Philosophy is something about which has happened in the past and then you become theoretical, theorizing. So not only in case of sulfur, in any case, or any remedy, you will get both the issues together, the column issue and the row issue. For example, you take calcarea carb. Actually calcarea carb, again, we consider calcium as an element, but it is again in between plant and animal, sorry, mineral and animal. Like that, there is a dependence of the second column and issue of security of the fourth column. In this way, we can correlate the rows and columns. Yeah, I can uh, say about potency, but see, once you understand the levels of experience, then it is easy to understand the potencies. Just taking any remedy and giving in any potency, it is not a good thing. For that, we have to understand the levels of experience. There are seven levels of experience. Uh, I will recommend you all that uh, you should subscribe Swara Homeo Gurukul channel. There are many videos of Sir. Shekhar Sir has nicely explained the levels of experience. And that will give you idea about how to select potency. And all the videos are given in very easy language and you can start any video and learn it. So thank you all participants for listening. Yeah, this is Swara Homeo Gurukul channel. Once you subscribe, you will get notification of every new video added. Dear all, if there is no further questions, we are going to end. Dr. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Sridham sir, thank you. Thank you so much for another wonderful presentation. So within two hours, I think you have covered everything about uh, animal and uh, mental kingdom. And uh, especially the explanation about birds. Where, you know, we, we used to amaze at birds, but uh, the information behind the birds and the type of birds, everything was... I, I listening 
for the first time actually i hope it is new for most of the participants today and you have covered them up very well thank you sir we wish to hear more from you and uh, we'll meet you in another platform thank you so much thanks for sharing your clinical acumen with us thank you thank you sir Thank you.